everybody! If you haven't been living under a rock recently, you will have noticed that Riot have released a load of new KDA stuff, which is super cool, especially with the new champion, Seraphine, and this has raised a lot of in-law questions about what on earth is going on with KDA. Now, KDA is definitely meant to be set in our real world. They talk about real world locations like Shanghai a lot. But some of the questions raised are important ones like, how does Seraphine afford her hairstyle? She appears to be the equivalent of a Starbucks barista, yet can afford an entire sea of hair dye. Other important questions like, why is Yasuo such a loser? But the real question and question we're going to be asking today is, are Ari's tails and fox ears real? So Seraphine's whole reveal thing has been she's a real world e-girl, e-sports fan type of character and there's a whole Twitter thing of her in real world locations and all of this is really meant to sell us the idea that KDA is a real world band and they're going to be going over to world to Shanghai and it's all really hype. Great, then in comes Ari with fox ears and a fox tail that are apparently very real. Uh, she originally came from the pop star Ari skin which is set in the exact same universe and she is established as being able to flick those ears and flick the tail as you saw in the opening screen, uh, opening little clip as if they were real biological uh, attachments. I don't know about you, but no one I know of can actually grow those. This screen grab from Pop Stars is Ari's old uniform. So we're also in the real world, but we're also in a world where Ari can do this. Hmm. Now I know it's not quite fair to use the in-game model, but this is still pretty consistent with how Riot animates her in things like the on-stage uh, appearance in Korea. So Ari is definitely a real fox girl, but we're also meant to expect to think is a real pop star. Now what is confusing is why Riot doesn't just copy what they did with Arcade Ari. Arcade Ari is just a normal gamer girl with cool headphones. Uh, she sort of has managed to jump into the game, but apart from that she's just normal, she doesn't actually have weird fox ears that grow out of her head. And it's sort of like, why not just say Ari is wearing a costume? People have shown they can make cool KDA Ari costumes. It's not hard to say and a lot more feasible than somehow they're a real fox girl. They are also shown alternate laws where they've said that you aren't in the real world. Like sure you can have someone who's a fox girl but just don't make them in the real world, they're in sort of an alternate universe where people don't get upset that people have fox ears inside schools. Because I'm not sure that's entirely hygienic. But we're willing to roll with it basically because it's an excuse for Riot to put Ari in a school uniform. So in conclusion, we have KDA is definitely supposed to be set in the real world, but Riot is basically telling us just don't think about it whenever Ari starts acting like a fox with the uh, fully biologically working tails and ears. So this all leads up to the biggest question of all following that conclusion. Does Ari have real ears under the fox ears? Because that is a mind blower to think about. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this short video exploring what on earth is going on with Kadia. I mean look clearly, that is clearly a real tale. Look, it's moving and twitching. Right, sort your shit out, get it consistent. Right. As always, like and subscribe helps me out, and thanks for watching.